you just picked up the Canon R6 and you're excited to edit the video footage. Well, you get back to editing and you have no idea where to start. Well, you're in luck because in this video, we will learn three easy ways to get a perfect image for your Canon R6 video footage. Let's get started. If you made it this far, then congratulations. You are going to get some free stuff at the end of this video. So stick around to learn more about how to get the goods. Today, we will be working in DaVinci Resolve. Resolve is the golden standard for professional colorists. And if you want to get the best results out of the Canon R6 footage, then you are in luck because today we will be learning how to use it. There are three methods to get that professional big budget look for your Canon R6 footage. And all of the methods we will talk about today require no prior knowledge of DaVinci Resolve. Now, as long as you follow along step by step, you will be perfectly fine. Also, do not hesitate to pause this video and take some notes, rewind and replay if you have to. If you do not have DaVinci Resolve, then you can go pick it up for free right now for PC or Mac. Now, if you want to begin learning DaVinci Resolve further than what we will cover in this video, then you can immerse yourself in my online DaVinci Resolve masterclass that can be found in the description. Anyway, let's cut the small talk baby doll and jump straight into the point. Points, three of them, methods, three methods. Let's get started. Method number one, resolve color management. This method is one of my personal favorites because the little amount of time required to get that big budget professional look. File, project settings, color management, color science, DaVinci YRGB color managed, input color space, Canon Log 3. Method number two, color space transform. This is most used by professionals right now because it prevents most of the issues when delivering a DRP or XML file to your client. Option S to create a node. Effects, color space transform, input color space, input gamma. Select the input gamma of your camera. In this case, Canon Log 3. Method number three, LUT conversion. This method is the least accurate and flexible out of all three methods that we will be discussing in this video. That is why I encourage you to practice one of the other two. However, it is the most popular with starters because of the remarkably quick results and the amount of time invested. Option S to create a node, LUT, select a LUT, and you're done. Now for my method, my personal favorite method that I used most, Resolve Color Management. As we learned earlier, this is my favorite method because of how fast and accurate it is. I use this method when I'm working on Cassian Films projects and personal projects, just not paid color grading client projects. This time, however, we will be going to color grade this footage beyond the basics, leveraging professional techniques to get a bigger budget look that can distinguish your footage from competition. Again, if you wish to learn the following methods and more, you can pick up my masterclass by clicking the link in the description. Now grab your favorite pen and your favorite notebook because this is about to get hot and sticky. Let's get started. I probably shouldn't have said that. Probably shouldn't have said that. I'm sticky. This is about to get good. Right about now. Let's get started. Time to color grade this clip here. File, project settings, color management, change color signs to DaVinci YRGB color managed. Make broadcast safe. Save. Now we need to change the input color space of our clip to Canon C Log 3. Boom, halfway there, game time. Here we go, here we go, here we go. So adding some contrast to our image, we're just gonna stretch out the data from here and here a little bit before, after, already looking amazing. All right, 1.25 is looking pretty good. We have some contrast. Now I'm gonna come over to my log, go to my shadows. That will make sure my blacks stay black. My shadows are shadows. Now we come into our HDR. Uh, we don't need dark, we don't need black. Shadows are gonna bring them up. Boop, 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 boop. Point 15. Come over here, uh, highlights, bring those down by 10. And then your light, bring that down about 10. That kind of softens up the image a little bit. Here, bring up our gamma by a bit. All right, next up is color. All right, we are going up to 55 and then we're gonna bring this down by about minus 2.5. We're going to come to this node and this is where we clean up the whites. 
Bring your highlights down a bit and then go over just to your Luma channel. Bring that back up. It's just cleaning up the, um, the image a little bit. Shadows, we're gonna skip the node for skin right now. Come down to presets, chroma dark. And we're just removing all the color from the shadows. Now that is a little too strong. Drop it down to 20%. There we go. Subtle changes. Now, if you bring up your magic tool, you can see that everything that is keyed out here in the image is just the shadows. Now we can come back into our skin. We're gonna go down to our effects and come to face refine. Drop that on there. We're going to analyze. And this is brilliant, gorgeous. You can turn off the overlay or keep it on, your choice. Now this is a very strong effect, so make sure you don't overdo any of this stuff. Eye retouching, you can see if you overdo it, how it does sharpen up the eyes quite a bit. This is where I'll go 0.2, 0 0.1, 0 0.2, 0 0.1, 0 0.1 here, and then eye bag removal. Watch underneath her eyes right here. So that is just our eyes and our skin. Already softening some things up. Let's smooth out the forehead. You can see what happens when I boost it all the way. Again, we want it to be natural. Boom, point two. Just a little bit, you know what I mean? And maybe even change the color of her lips. I do want to switch them to that like light pink. And that's looking good before and after. Now we're gonna use our auto mask feature where we got the plus sign. We're gonna hit our skin here, right? And I think we even want to hit here. We're gonna take the minus tool and really just get rid of all this stuff. And uh, then we're gonna come over here, go to blur radius, crank that up, clean black, crank that up, and we are looking good. There we go. Turn off our mask, come back over here, turn off our overlays. Now see if we move this around, it's affecting just our skin now. Look at my vector scope and then shift the skin to the skin tone line. Come over to our vignette. We are going to do a vignette to make our subject pop out of the background. Let's zoom out, highlights, and bring them down a bit here, just a tiny bit. Come over here, bring this down, and then bring this up. Now come into my mask and invert. Next is our look. I'll skip that for now. Go to effects, go to glow. Shine threshold comes all the way down, composite type. We'll change to soft light, and then I typically bring this down to 0.4, before and after. I think for this shot, I'll keep it at 0.2, and then sharpness. We'll come to our sharpness, we'll bring that down to 0.47. Make sure it says blur right up here, and then we will go over to our mid-tone detail. Boom, 35. Now, this is where you can get creative with the image. Let's just reflect for a second. This is where we started, this is where we're at now. And you can be done. Now, this is where you can leverage high quality LUTs if you'd like, or you can just make your own. So we got cinema stock. Let's go to Hannibal, and then we'll go to our output and change the strength It's about 0.5. Now, I like this darker moody image. You could maybe use something like this, more teal and orange. You know, both look good. They're just different styles. Uh, I'll come over to my curves back here, click on the top little dot, and then bring that up a bit, just to raise our brightness. And that is looking good. And drum roll, please. <laughs> Bonus method. This method will allow you to get the best of both worlds in just one click. A big budget look with a minimal time investment. It's kind of like a win-win if you know what I'm talking about. Gallery, apply grade, adjust. Boom, you're done. Power grades are awesome because they can be imported and exported, adjusted and improved over time. That is the beauty of it all. Mwah. And that is why I have included free power grades for all of my students who joined my DaVinci Resolve Masterclass, where you can also learn how to become proficient in DaVinci Resolve. Just simply click the link in the description to get started. Now, I said I have something free for you, and I'm a man of my word. When you use the coupon code FREE for any Canon R6 related products in my online store, you will receive 100% off whatever it is that you decide to add to your shopping cart. If it is Canon R6 related consider it all yours you're welcome use your power wisely young grasshopper <laughs>
Now, if you found this information helpful and wish to participate in the growth of this community, you may want to know that we are giving away $10,000 in prizes when we hit 10,000 subscribers. So you may want to consider pressing that subscribe button and that little button just off to the right hand side of this video to stay up to date, of course. Also, when we hit 5,000 subscribers and it's going to be soon, we will also be giving away some free great prizes. Well, that's all for me. So until next time, stay motivated until I see you in the next one.